Next question, question 13. Consider the following statements followed by two conclusions. Some men are great, some men are wise. Men are either great, so conclusion one is men are either great or wise. Some men are neither great nor wise. So, uh, the only things we can assume is what is given in the statement. So, I'll just draw possibilities uh, for better understanding. So, let's say this is the region that covers all the men. And in this, there is some men uh, that are great. So, and some men that are wise. So, it could be like this, which we don't know. This is one possibility. Another possibility is, so this is the whole region. So, it, okay. Uh, another possibility is, I'll just show. Sorry. Another possibility is this is the circle of all men, and it should something it could be like that some men are all men are wise. Uh, this could also be uh, the circle of wise, and this should be could be also the circle of great. So, in this case, in this particular scenario, it means all men are uh, wise and great so this is one particular scenario uh, in, even in this scenario we can say some men are great and some men are uh, wise it is not contradicting it so uh, these two uh, are two possibilities uh, from the given statements we cannot know whether which is the case so anyway conclusion one says men are either great or wise need not be so in this case if you see there are men outside this both great and wise circle so there could be men who is not great who is not wise or who, who is neither of that so we uh, we cannot say conclusion one is true so one is false so some men are neither great nor wise so we can uh, we we don't know that for sure so what if all men are wise and great in the situation we are considering uh, so we cannot say some men are neither great nor wise uh, or it could be a case such that uh, half um, say this is uh, uh, the circle of men say when uh, so this is the circle of men and half of them say half of them are uh, great and half of them are wise we don't know uh, if that is the case also we can say some men are great and some men are wise so, and there will not be a man who is either great nor wise. We don't know whether any of that possibility is true or not. So, we cannot say conclusion 2 is correct also. So, uh, the answer is neither the conclusion, neither of the conclusion is valid or solution to question 30 is D. So, in such questions, always keep in mind that uh, the statements given are the only state, only information we know. We cannot assume anything else. We should uh, be able to derive our conclusions from the given statements. Otherwise, if any other possibility is, uh, is there where the statement is true and conclusion is false, then we, uh, the answer is we cannot derive the conclusion from the statement. So, the answer to this question is D. Neither of the conclusion is valid. Question 30, D.